Yeah, they women met us painting spontaneously in some way, led by Martini today. But before we start, check in. And I can do that. As I said before, here is sort of a backlash of winter cold. I mean, it's not as cold as it was in winter, but when you are already thinking it's, it's, it's spring and then it's cold, you feel it much stronger. That's what happens to me. But we have some rain and we need rain and my garden, my vegetable garden needs it badly. So I'm quite happy. And I'm curious what we will do today. I give over to Lucinda. Hmm. Thank you. Yeah, we're having a backlash, but actually I'm in Connecticut where our house gets very hot. My brother's redoing the windows and everything, nothing is covered with shades or anything. So I'm somewhat grateful for the colder weather and for a sweater. So it's nice the house is cooler. Uh, and uh, being in Connecticut is joyful because there's so many flowers. New Hampshire is still winter. So flowers and flowering trees and it's just very beautiful. So I'm happy with the spring rain. And I pass it over to Martini. Thank you, uh, Lucinda. I am pleased uh, to see you all. <laughs> um, yeah, we have spring as well. I was this morning on my bike uh, for some grocery in, in, the, in close to Neuburg. And uh, now it is getting cold. And I heard upside that my husband is um, put on the stove with some boots. And um, I am pleased that I see so many faces and that we can have our fun with the Zen of Seeing this evening. I give over to Monia. Yeah, well, I live not so far away from Martini and we had 19 degrees in at noon and now it's dropping very fast and it's freezing and uh, miserable outside. So I'm glad we can sit here and paint or draw or whatever. And uh, <laughs> yeah, it's uh, and today's a new moon, so which is rare for such a weather change. Usually it's at the full moon. Yeah, I give over to Christine. Good morning, afternoon, evening. Um, gray day here, it's gonna be, we're getting into the part of the year where we have a lot of overcast uh, marine layer. So it's often gray throughout the whole day. But um, yeah, starting to enjoy uh, opening up a little bit. Uh, I went to, I returned to the gym for the first time since the pandemic started uh, back in March of last year. So that was fun. It was pretty, not very crowded. A lot of people are not attending that, but it was, uh, I enjoyed it. And um, have planned to get togethers with some uh, girlfriends, have some birthdays coming up in the spring. And so everybody is vaccinated and feels comfortable getting together outdoors and, you know, with our masks, but uh, enjoying some birthday celebrations. So looking forward to that. I'm working on my uh, music playlist for those parties. It's been fun. I enjoyed doing that. And I pass it on to Gertrude. Thanks, Christine. Um, yeah, here is cold, four degrees or so. It's it's April. It, yeah, it snowed, and then the sun comes out, and then, then and the storks are back. They are breeding again. So that's a nice when you look out and see them touring around. That's that's really nice. Yeah, and my sister-in-law came with her um, partner, and uh, yeah, so I'm very happy to be here and then to have time with them. 
and I give to Hanili. Thank you, Gertrude. Here it's, we have hot days and then the temperature falls very quickly, very low at night. So cold nights and warm days, so I'm appreciating the warm sunny days and to be able to swim and to walk when it's not so cold. And even in the cold, it's good as well. Yeah, and I'm also delighted to be here and for this Zen of seeing Martini, I'm really looking forward to it as well. And yesterday I was with a friend for the first time after lockdown um, in a bird sanctuary. It was just beautiful. It was so peaceful and tranquil. And um, although we were surrounded by suburbs, it was really great. So I'm just bringing that into the space as well. Thank you. And I'm passing to Victoria. By the way, are you in partner look? Beatrice and Victoria? Are we what? <laughs> yes, no look. <laughs> We're going to keep the dresses in honor of Martini. <laughs> we did this for you, Martini. We planned it. Oh, <laughs> we both have zebra dresses, so we we plan to wear them today. Sur era martini. Um, let's see. Uh, I'm I'm very zoomed out because um, <laughs> because I enrolled in so many different things that I lost track and. Um, Tonight, for example, I think I have four things at the same time. I have to decide <laughs> what I'm going to attend. Um, so it's kind of like the virtual equivalent to a wild and mad social life. Um, but it's all it's all about um, spiritual things. So it's really it's it's been really fantastic, actually. But I'm kind of worn out. Um, but it's yeah, it's exciting and. Um, what else? I miss Beatrice, so I'm going to pass to her. <laughs> um, I guess I have to do the weather update too. <laughs> um, it's been raining the last couple of days, which is it's harder to feel energized when there isn't sunshine. But last week, there were a lot of really beautiful days, and I'm really excited about being able to spend time outdoors now. Um, and hopefully be in nature more. I'm missing nature a lot. Um, I'm also missing my mother a lot. It's been, oh, I guess I was there in September. I was going to say it's been over a year, but well, anyway, September was a long time ago. <laughs> I don't know. We're used to seeing each other every few months, I think. And, and when I lived in California, we saw each other probably once a month. Um, so it's, it's, yeah, it feels strange. Although we've, we have a lot of Zoom rituals ourselves now um, of getting together um, which is nice and glad for this platform um, I'm in a moment of transition it feels like I'm kind of deciding what I want to do next in my life and there's a lot of options but I don't feel like I have the answer yet so I'm feeling a little <laughs> it's scary and exciting but um, that's that's the energy right now. And I guess maybe it's the springtime too. It's a new chapter, but I don't know what the new chapter is going to bring forth. And also because things are opening up, I think energetically it's going to be different as people get to see each other again and get together over the summer and stuff like that um, as the numbers go down. So anxious anticipation of what's next um, is, is how I'm feeling today and kind of right now in general. <laughs> um, did everybody share? I think everybody shared. Mar yeah, yeah. Um, so I pass it on to the yeah. leader. To Martini, uh, I pass on, but Martini, can you speak in a way that's loud enough because you are a little low when you introduced yourself. So maybe you need to come a little nearer to the, to the microphone when you speak and give the directions to us, okay? Yeah. And now I give over to you. I try to get louder. That was good now. Okay, that's fine. So um, we first 
do together a short meditation. Uh, do you all uh, sit down, ground with your feet, and uh, 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 roll your shoulders and put them together in the, in the back and that you are sitting straight. And if you want, you close your eyes, yes. In the meditation, we experience one thing is a necessity, necessary. What is this one thing that is necessity? This one thing is that you detect your nothingness, your nothingness, that is your own. What you are and who you are from your own. This oneness is a necessity. All mankind should surrender themselves. Forget all things that all teachers taught and learn only this oneness that you will become that you are. Open your eyes and bow. A short introduction, how I came to Zen or how Zen came to me. In 1971, Ernst, that is my husband, and I married. We lived in Vienna and we moved to Munich for his job. We planned children, but this did not happen. In 73, Ernst was asked to go to Toronto for an interesting career. And at that time, the woman went um, with the man. That was very natural. We, we decided to go there 
and we never regretted it. We found a beautiful small house in Mississauga and Ernst traveled quite a lot and I managed everyday life to get comfortable. Very soon I started painting what I did before. I inscribed art fundamentals at Sheridan College in Oakville, which I enjoyed intensively. In the studios, I met students from the University of Toronto. My next step, my language was not good enough for the university level. So I visited Canadian history for the summer to improve my English and I succeeded. In 74, I inscribed at the University of Toronto for art education, an excellent challenge for me. I worked hard and a teacher said, you paint like Zen. I didn't understand anything. I never had heard about Zen, a very fine conscious step for me. He advised the book uh, from Frederick Frank, The Zen of Seeing, a book to eat. I did it. That time I had my struggle because my thinking was dualistic. In my work, I dedicated myself to Christ and I thought this was the only one. My horizons became broader the more I studied and the more I experienced. In 78, I finish, finished my studies with great success. And in 79, we went back to Europe because of the work of my husband. Back in Vienna, I felt very lost. We still did not have children and I worked on my art in Salisbury just painting acts so acts uh, after Kokoschka there, there is a school of seeing it's almost the same like uh, the zen of seeing with other artists we exhibited in the art house of Vienna and in 1981, we were asked to adopt a two and a half year old boy, Gert. It was a big decision. And in 1983, a newborn girl, Katharina, came also to us. So we decided to go uh, together through life. And then uh, 10 years later, as a mother, a woman and a housewife and a painter, I started to teach Zen of seeing what we will experience now. So I, I just say a few words about Zen of seeing. Um, all we need is compassion and openness, compassion and openness. We are not making a picture. We are not being creative. We are just, we just construct an experiment in seeing in an undivided attention, an undivided attention. This is a very, very beautiful, intensive experience. So we warm up our hands. <clears throat> we put them in front of the eyes. And we breathe deeply in our hara.
open your eyes. And now don't look at the screen, but look in your own surrounding or to the uh, object you brought with you. And just look at this object. Just look at the object. Then take your pencil and do not look at the sheet and at the pencil. You feel the pencil and you feel the sheet. You just look at what you are looking at. Bring the pencil on the sheet. Don't look to the sheet at the sheet anymore until the exercise is over. Your eyes still rest upon the object. Breathe consciously. Wait until the ob object looks back to you. Feel that you are alone with it on the earth. That is the most important thing in the universe. It contains all the riddles of life and death. Now you are not longer looking, you are seeing. Now your pencil, don't look at your pencil. Your pencil follows on the paper what the eye perceives and don't think. Just follow with the pencil on the paper what the eye perceives. With the point of your pencil, you are caressing the contours. Just let your hands move. Don't check what gets on the paper. It doesn't matter at all. Don't let your eye wander from what it is seeing. The eye is seeing. Don't lift the pencil from the paper. The hand follows what the eye sees. Let it care. If you are ready, close your eyes and Put the paper beside. Okay. Uh, this we to do three times. It is just to warm up. Okay. Now you look in in your room spontaneously at something what you see. Don't think. Uh, uh, don't choose. Just um, where the eye is falling on. That's okay. And do the same thing. Don't control with your eyes what your hand, heart, and eye is doing.
a third time, we do it again in another di direction. And please control yourself. Don't look at the piece of paper. And it is also good that you don't look at it afterwards, that you just put it away because we are judging with our brain. And this is what uh, takes us down. And we are the unspoiled core today, the light within. This is what we are. Okay, the third exercise. Thank you very much. That, this was blind drawing. Now we do some gestures that you can look at something and um, what you uh, uh, brought with you. And uh, you can also look at the um, uh, sheet. Also what your pencil is doing. Um, if you push it more pressure on it or less what the pencil is doing. And so that you get the feeling you can um, uh, put your feeling in it. So three times a gesture of uh, two minutes. Three times, Victoria, a gesture uh, where you can look at your sheet. You can look at your sheet. Beatrice, we are now uh, drawing that you can look on the sheet. You can look at the sheet.
excuse me, Beatrice, I said drawing, but I meant gesture. We, what we are doing now are gestures. This is to get an overall of what you are seeing. So another time to a gesture. A new, a new sheet. If you have a mirror, you can also look in the mirror. Can all go on speaker view, then we can see ourselves in the in the on the screen. Yeah. It doesn't doesn't work because I see you instead of myself. So you can pin you can pin your video with the three dots. There's an option to pin. Thank you. Where the three dots on yourself. Mm -hmm. There's actually a pin also. Take it beside you and a new sheet. Did we do already three gestures or two? Two. Okay, now the third one. Maybe is it possible that you draw an, um, a neighbor? Is this possible? Yeah, then yes, uh, and this is a very, very nice um, thing. It is a gesture just to get the overall. Start anywhere where you want, where you just feel, ah, I start there.
put it aside you. And now we come to drawing. So we um, can go um, a little bit more in detail. Yeah. And try not to think and judge. Oh, what I'm doing now. I can't do it or things like that. You just let it go. Be the unspoiled spoiled core and the light within. So um, this is also two minutes drawing.
okay, put it away. And I say some, um, a few words and maybe if you want, you are invited to talk about your experiences very openly. The car within is never killed completely. We can respond to nature, beauty, and life. Suddenly be aware of being in the presence of a mystery. A life is a supreme gift and seeing drawing can help us to open our eyes and to become more the true self. For the time being, the split between me and the not me is healed, suspended. Drawing is not a hobby, but a discipline of awareness. An unwavering attention to a world which is fully alive in front of you. And this is the most beautiful commun communication that you can have. The eye is the lens of my heart, open to the world in front of me. My hands follow my seeing and trusting the flowering power of the pre presence. It is drawing, not me. I'm not drawing. I'm responsible for what I am seeing. I choose the feeling I experience. I decide the goal I want to approach and everything that happens to me. <clears throat> I demand for and receive the demanding. I take the challenge it offers me. Only be quiet. You will need no rules but this, to let your practicing today lift you about the sinking of the world and free your vision from the body's eyes. Only be still and listen in the presence. Thank you very much. It was so beautiful to look at you. <laughs> Thank you. Maybe we talk a little bit about the experiences. Heidi? Yeah, who wants to start to talk about it? Who feels ready to talk? I'll begin. Okay. Thank you, Martini. This was an incredible experience. It was fascinating how my awareness shifted as we went along and where I felt it in my body as well as I was drawing, where I felt joy. And you lost what you just shared with us. I felt such a beautiful energy in my throat. And because my, it was, my eyes were speaking, it felt like that, my eyes were speaking. So thank you so much. And the, there was a distinct difference when I was drawing Christine, and I was also drawing a tree outside that I was looking at. Then when I was drawing a object in the room, there was, um, it was a different, it was a completely different experience of drawing something that's alive, or someone that's alive, and then an object. I'm confused. Thank you. Thank you so much. This is really precious. Well, uh, I started out very ambitiously with Shiva Nataraj and ended up in my uh, bowl and in a glass. <laughs> and you never know who might be. <laughs> I enjoyed it. Yes, I enjoyed it very much. Uh, I haven't been drawing for a long time and it's really rusty, but uh, to see myself in uh, 
is full, actually empty, but making noise. So it was just, yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much, Martini. It was a, not an unusual, but a very pleasant experience. I also drew Hanali. <laughs> I'm not going to show you my picture, though. <laughs> um, I found that uh, drawing a, a person was more challenging because I wanted it to be more representational than drawing an object. Um, and the other thing I noticed when I wasn't looking at the paper is that um, it went along pretty well in terms of an outline of, of a thing. But coming back to the starting place uh, was the hard part. Like you start and you don't lift your pencil off the paper, but trying to get back to that beginning, uh, you know, didn't work. Um, and I don't know if that's a metaphor in Zen or not, but it seems like it could be some kind of metaphor of trying to get back to the beginning uh, or some kind of connection that uh, is hard to make. Um, yeah, and I found myself paying more attention instead of uh, paying attention to form. Over time, I was paying more attention to shadow, light, um, texture, uh, other aspects, and trying to leave form uh, aside as being the only thing. I, I wanted to look at some other aspects with my eyes. So that was good. I enjoyed it. I was, I'm totally entranced. I just uh, love being in your presence, Martini. Actually, I went on your website and I don't, my German is very poor, but I, I was so inspired by the poetic nature of the way that you see. And I think you transmitted that to us. Somehow I missed the if there was an instruction to draw one of us, I missed it because I was, I was drawing a feather and I just got, I fell totally in love with my feather and uh, you know, from different perspectives. And at one point I broke away and said, in drawing a feather, I feel I'm coming to know the ocean or flight or flight over the ocean. And so there was just this, this sense of oneness that was starting to emerge. I'd like to spend all day drawing my feather. Yeah. So it's a sense of love, I think, and, and, and a connection. Thank you. I noticed at the beginning watching this, I actually fell in love with him. And he changed his, um, his face and it became alive. But then drawing this at the beginning without looking on the paper, it came all, you know, not really. Then uh, when it didn't respond to what I, I felt, let's say. When we, we draw it, I didn't quite understand what gesture would mean. So I already drawed, uh, was drawing uh, figures or something, you know, what I saw, I was drawing that. And um, then with the face, when I looked into my face, um, I got the lines quite uh, clearly. And then there was Hanali nearby. And there was such a difference. My face was like this, and Hanali's face was like this. And alive, and mine was a little bit like this, you know. <laughs> and first, I even got the temptation to, to, to paint the, the red lips in, in one. I don't want to show it because I'm not an artist, so it's not really um, presentable. So I also noted this when we could look at it, this tendency or the 
temptation to say, but that's not right. That should be different and so on. No? And then trying to make it better. And I also did the, try to put the shadow in. And then I noticed, oh no, that's ruining the whole thing because it was in the same way, the shadow as there would be the lines. So in the same color and the same. And then I thought, no, now you have ruined everything. So the, the head is, also I had moments where I didn't, where I just draw, draw, draw. Uh, but it's still um, there and saying, oh, there, you should try there. And then maybe you should try there and so on. So I was a little bit, I don't know how, when I did only color work some time ago, I could just let it arise. But as soon as I have to draw something and then I want to make it white, you know, and I see it's not white or something like this. Oh, I can show you what I what I do myself like this. Can you see that? <laughs> like, oh. <laughs> that looks like Kokoschka. Doesn't it? Maybe. 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 It's um, kokoschka S. Yeah, a little bit like, like this. But I show you, Hanani, the first what I did with Hanani. <laughs> yeah, that was nice. <laughs> but yes, again, Kokoschka with Hanani. So I show you as you gave me a compliment. So, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You were very inspiring to me, Hanani. Also the colors and all the, also the liveliness of your expression. It's really, thank you for that. And thank you, Martini, for this unusual exercise, I have to say, for me at least. If I may, I'm going to jump in because I have something in three minutes, <laughs> so I must log off. Martini, th thank you so much. And thank you, ladies, for your... Um, Unterstützung, <laughs> whatever, camaraderie. Um, I, my, some other time I'll, I'll share. Um, my mother taught an art appreciation course. Um, my mother was a wonderful educator in getting people to look. And she taught a um, course for many years at the university here through the extension program. So it was adult education, it was for the public. And, um, she got me to enroll because she never had enough enrollments. Um, at the last minute, she had to get me and my dad to sign up so that she could still teach the class because they had a minimum. Um, and I'll never forget how much I enjoyed it. The years that the, the first few years she taught it, a, a woman who was an artist um, collaborated with her in teaching the course. And that woman um, taught us these methods through the Zen of seeing. And, um, and I'll never forget how much I enjoyed those exercises. It was just totally, I, I had forgotten about it for decades. So thank you for reminding me. And strangely enough, just yesterday, I was telling Beatrice, um, she, she was in a group, maybe you can talk about your group after I leave. Um, and I, they had finished a book that they were reading together. And um, I said, well, maybe you should read the Zen of seeing um, because it's a group of, I think of artists or people in the arts. And, but I didn't remember all the details. So thank you. It, to me, it was what my husband would have called a joke of the angels again, because after decades and decades yesterday, it just popped into my head, the book. And I told Beatrice, and then I come in this morning, still half asleep and you say the Zen of seeing. So, so we're all in line together and with the angels and, um, I'm sorry I have to leave. I, I, I loved it today. Thank you so much. And um, see you all soon, I hope. Love and blessings. I think I'm still absorbing, but um, that was a beautiful experience and a reminder that um, 
I don't know <laughs> that you don't have to to do anything in particular to be creative or be an artist you can just witness and observe and have it flow um and I think I hope I can stay in this state of mind because I think that then as I move through my day I'll I'll notice the beauty and the texture and the color and the light of the ordinary objects. I think we so we get so used to our environments and and get so task oriented about what we have to do next. And um, we don't really stop, you know, stop and smell the roses, but stop and look, <laughs> look at the beauty of the things in the world, even the ordinary mundane, you know, I drew a, a soap bottle and a sponge and <laughs> my cell phone and <laughs> things that are not I don't consider beautiful objects or artistic objects but then in drawing them and looking at them carefully they had a different radiance to them so thank you Martini it was a beautiful experience I would like to say um, what Ken Wilbur says to it the entire cosmos arises in the eye of the spirit in the eye of the spirit, in my own intrinsic awareness. This simple, ever-present state, and I am simply that. I am that. That is the oneness. I saw, I see. And Krishna, Krishna Maturi, Krishna Murti ask, do you like to know my secret? This is my secret. I have nothing against it what happens. And it is so beautiful what happens, but some of us are uh, again starting to judge what we did. And it is no necessity uh, to, to judge because it is the experience, you know, that um, uh, the opening up in the present. And, and I think this is uh, the cosmic intelligence is carrying us. If we dare trusting the, the uh, presence, what we are doing, it's not stupid. It's beautiful, just beautiful. I have nothing against what is happening, he says. Just let it be, don't label. All duality we accept as is. We are getting used to handle it. The, the duality uh, will not go away, but it, it doesn't bother us anymore. We can handle it, yeah? It becomes one in, within ourselves. And that is beautiful. In our handling is a balance with the presence. The act is strong, also carried by the cosmic intelligence. intelligence. And I think, thank you very much. Uh, I enjoyed your pictures. I didn't know how to handle this. I would have loved to have a camera that I could have take pictures of all of you because you were children. <laughs> so busy and so um, involved. Yeah. Nice, thank you very much. Thank you, there's still somebody to share. Yeah, Gertra. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and Christine, was it? Um the first I didn't know what gesture is, so I oh, just yeah. did whatever yeah. I did. Yeah. And yeah. and I put all three objects in one plate, uh, on one paper. Okay. So I didn't uh, yeah. <laughs> take another one. Yeah. And there was uh I thought at the beginning it was really um hard not to look because you always yeah. do that yeah. uh but then i reminded myself that i can write with four uh, ten fingers without right uh, without looking so i i could just let it go and when i looked back i saw that it was pretty i mean it was um recognizable somehow <laughs> um and and what christine said that you couldn't go back to the the beginning uh, yeah so i had some uh, parts from the object 
he, <laughs> so yeah. replaced. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. the inside, when I tried to yeah. do the inside, it was yeah. just in another location, but still recognizable in its in itself. So it's it was a very interesting. Uh, yeah, just let go and let your hand do whatever that is. So I the, will, the mind I, kicked in later when I yeah had could look on the paper and and judge what I do. Yeah, so I I thought it was very very good, and then I will I will try that. Yeah, and thank um, you for sharing your your history. Uh, that was touching. I really, I really liked it. And I didn't know that you adopted two children. Yes. Um, and uh, yeah, just to, to get more of you. That, that was when great. I went um, doing the groceries, I bought flowers and I just was looking at the flowers and then the children came home and they wanted to eat something. I didn't have anything to eat, but I just, <laughs> <laughs> the flowers were on the table, things like that, you know, I had to handle, but uh, uh, more difficult things as well, because um, they have their um, 3000 of years of experiences within them. And I don't know about it. So I have to be so sensible for it their problems and I have my own problems <laughs> so, it's yeah, a I, I can resonate because we have one too okay yeah 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 but it's 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 very challenging they they challenge they were my models <laughs> when they were sleeping eating everything and that is uh, beautiful but i also have uh, extremely difficulties that i i must tell as well yeah but we can handle it <laughs> i know what you're talking about yeah, a little bit thank you yeah, thank you thank you thank you it was a wonderful evening and thank you for the company for to do it alone is different than to do it together in this group. Yeah. If somebody wants to, to say something. I just want to say, Martini, I just want to sh share that I did with both my hands. And it was very interesting because I write with both my hands, but it was very interesting drawing with um, my not, so to speak, non-dominant hand, which I write with very easily, but it was really, it was such a softer experience. The pressure was not so hard on the pencil. This is really beautiful. Thank you. I wanted to explain the difference between the blind drawing, then you have no control from your brain. The, the hand is doing what the heart is saying. And, and um, you know, there is an eye, heart and hand is one becomes one if you do, uh, let it go and by the gesture uh, there is no need for shadowing something that is just get the what hiding it with the um, um, uh, portrait you mm -hmm. just get the the um, the overall of of a person and that's it and that is um, so honest. Then all you also can see if um, the pressure on the uh, on the pencil or on the charcoal, it is very sensible. And and what uh, Hanali was saying that she she uses the the other hand that the, uh, the brain is doing different things and this is a very very nice exercise to become really in the present, yeah, it is uh, challenging and uh, you are never alone, every all the time there is something in front of you or you said Beatrice, but just becoming aware of it, yeah. And do this exercise because uh, it, it is um, uh, a beautiful meditation. I also wanted to say that I've been watching, there's been a, a series on um, 
<clears throat> Ernest Hemingway, um, who is really the definition of a tortured artist. And this feels like with his competition with himself and all this, and this feels like such a, a healing exercise. Because if, uh, if you're just with words, 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 or people, 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 you know, there's such uh, the thinking uh, can lead us in very dark corners. And this feels um, like opening a whole door to, you know, a dimension of being that is healing. So thank you. It is what the child is doing all the time. And we become the child. Um, uh, Picasso said, I, uh, I studied my whole life to become a child again. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So thank you very much. Thank you, ladies. And see you next time. Yeah.